Hey guys, so um, I got some better lighting, as you can see. Um, I just want to give you a day four update. Kind of what's going on with me, I'm kind of eating breakfast slash brunch right now, so sorry about that. Been running some errands this morning, I dropped Liam off at daycare. So, I have some really, really good news. Um, I bought a new scale today, I just want to show you what brand. It's a Health-O-Meter Weight Trend Tracking Scale. I got it at Walmart, it was like $25.00. But, um, it's pretty good. I love digital scales, and it does it by ounces, so it goes, like, you know, 3.1 ounce, whatever. It does it by ounces. So, remember, when I started this journey, day one, I weighed myself. It was Sunday, August 28th. I weighed 328. As of today, I'm at 326 pounds and 8 ounces, so a pound and 2 ounces down, and that was just exercise mostly like I still kind of have been bad about the eating habits but that was just mainly exercise so those two days of exercise in between Sunday and now that's five days I've lost a pound so a pound and two ounces so I'm really 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 excited about that as you can tell um so I also wanted to show you because the scale like as soon as you step off of it or as soon as you like have been on there for longer than 10 seconds the number goes away so I did take a picture of it on my phone so you can see, that was today's weight, 326.8 pounds. So I'm not lying to you guys, that was today. And um, again, I'm really excited. I mean, I know that's such a small amount, but I'm excited about it. Um, and I did sign up for Weight Watchers today. They have a new way of doing it. You sign up online, and um, you get a monthly pass, so it's $40 for the month, so about $10 a week. Hopefully I can start going to the meetings tomorrow. But on my immediate 5% goal, so to lose 5% of my body weight, is going to be um, about 15 pounds. Well, I put 328 in, so it's going to be a little less than that. But they um, want me to get down to 311. That's my 5% goal, and I think that's really awesome. I can't wait to get out of 300. That's what I'm really looking I'm really looking forward to losing that 26.8 pounds because I cannot wait to get out of 300. And then I can, you know, really feel a sense of accomplishment. I'll be 30 pounds lighter almost, and hopefully I'll be able to do – um, you know, more in that range. Um, I just want to talk a little bit today about, I haven't worked out yet. I'm going to work out as soon as I finish making this video. I just like to do the video first, then work out. Cause sometimes I'm really tired after I work out and I don't feel like doing the video. So I want to talk about a couple of things that I love, love, love that I'm going to have to stop doing for a while at least. Um, one of my favorite things in the whole wide world is the Starbucks Frappuccino coffee drink in vanilla. And today is the first time I really, really, really actually looked at what's going on in the back. So this is a 13.7 fluid ounce um, bottle, and so, let me see, I'm going to adjust this camera, hold on. There we go, hey guys. <laughs> okay, so um, serving size is 8 fluid ounces, so it's almost 2 servings inside of this bottle. I'm, it's really about 14 ounces, so I'm going to say about a serving and a quarter. Oh no, it actually is closer to 2 servings. What am I talking about? Okay, so whatever. But um, one serving is eight fluid ounces. So it has 170 calories for eight ounces, um, 2.5 grams of fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 85 milligrams of sodium, 31 carbs, 26 sugars, and five proteins. I never knew there was this much fat in here. And you see, I've only drinking half of it because... I saw, I noticed those stats in the middle of me drinking it. So what I'm not going to do today is finish the rest of this. I'm going to go pour it out. But I just wanted to show you guys what about half of this would be. This is a 13.7 fluid ounce. So this is about half of that. And I only drank half. So I only got that 170 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, um, 31 carbs from one drink. Like, that's crazy. From a drink, not even bread. Like, if this was bread and you know, cake, I'd be kind of excited. But it's only from... A damn frappuccino. So this has got to go. So I'm just warning you guys out there. I don't know about the original flavor. I think they have chocolate too. The vanilla is bad. It's bad, bad, bad. So buy vanilla. I'm sad, but I'm going to put that away. So one of the new things that I'm definitely on, a new kick, is the Dan and Oikos. The, um, I feel like I'm doing product placement here. The Dan and Oikos. I got this at Walmart. It's about $4.88 for a 32-ounce tub, so that's two pounds of yogurt. Mmm, yummy. So um, I really, 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 really like this yogurt. Um, the vanilla flavor does have a little bit more sugar, does have a little bit more fat, but at the end of the day, it tastes better. It fills me up. A serving size is actually about a cup, and a cup is a lot of yogurt. If you look, this is full of yogurt today. This is a big coffee cup. 
full. Well, it's not completely full, but it's, um, hmm. sorry, I had a food break. <laughs> um, not completely full, but there is, sorry about that. I'm hungry, I'm sorry. I didn't eat breakfast, rushing to get the baby out this morning. But it is, there is a significant amount of yogurt in there. So if you don't like yogurt that much, you don't have to use the full cup. I've been doing about three quarter cups. I love yogurt, but that's a little overwhelming, even for me. And sometimes I get full before I finish. Like the first time I tried, I tried to eat an entire one cup and that didn't work. So Dan, Oikos, and Vanilla, no fat is in here. Zero percent fat. I'm going to read some of the stats. So for one cup, it's 190 calories for the vanilla. Zero grams of fat, 10 grams of cholesterol, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 70 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 29 grams of carbs, 17 grams of protein. So the carbs, you actually do need carbs. So when people say there's no carb diet and crap like that, I don't get down with that. I like carbs. I'm going to continue to eat carbs, but you can do it in moderation. So that's what I'm planning on doing. So this is, again, 29 grams of carbs, but then you have 17 grams of protein. You cannot beat that. After I eat this, I feel like I've eaten an entire meal, but like not like that gross, nasty, full feeling you get. I feel really good. So because I think yogurt is so unfortunate to eat plain, sometimes I put strawberries, like the frozen kind, the unsweetened frozen kind. I get them from Walmart. So sometimes I do that. Um, I love granola. So today I bought the Bare Naked Fit. I don't know if you can see that. The Bare Naked Fit Vanilla Almond Crunch. And so it's 100% um, pure and natural granola. It has 4 grams of sugar. A serving size of this is going to be about a quarter cup. And it's 120 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 22 grams of carbs, um, and it has 4 grams of protein. But there's no artificial flavors, no cholesterol, no hydrogenated oils, um, no high fructose corn syrup, which is very important, no artificial preservatives, and zero grams trans fat. So I'm really sticking with these. And um, just so, I mean, I wanted to share this with you guys because I know sometimes there's things that we love to eat and things that we love to drink. And sometimes I get tempted. What I've been doing for the past few days, if I get an urge to drink a soda, like I love ginger ale, like oh, ginger ale is the best stuff ever. I can drink three or four in a day. So if I get an urge to drink a ginger ale and I don't, like I know I shouldn't, like, you know, I didn't work out yesterday. I shouldn't be drinking that. What I do is drink water instead. Last night, I was really, really tempted at like 11, 12 o'clock at night. The baby had just gone to bed. I was really tempted to grab a ginger ale just because I wanted one. But what I actually ended up doing, um, I ended up drinking water instead. And because I drank the water, I had a couple swigs of water and didn't want the ginger ale anymore. So that's really cool how that works. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to let you guys know that I am down 1.2 pounds. So I am really, really excited about that. Um... You know, the closer I get, the better. I did start Weight Watchers today online, like I said, just to go back to that. If you know anything about Weight Watchers, you have a points program. So because of my weight and my age, my daily points is going to be 52 a day. And then my weekly allowance, which is things that you can splurge on. So if I want that soda, which I still shouldn't have, but if I want that soda, I have 49 points per week to splurge on. So um, let's do some math here. 14. So I have 364 points, regular points per week to use, plus the 49, that's going to be 37. I have 413 points a week. So again, if you're familiar with the Weight Watch system, you would know about how that works. Um, I'm just really excited to finally be getting started. I hopefully am going to get to go to the uh, YMCA tomorrow to start my membership there, sign up for some classes so I can have some, you know, real stru more structure. So um, I want to do advanced circuit training there and or yoga and Pilates. They have a yoga Pilates fusion. So hopefully I can do that. And um, I'm just really excited. Like the 1.2 pounds has really kind of helped to jumpstart. Yesterday I was kind of in a funk like, oh, I didn't work out. I kind of feel lethargic. But I'm really glad. Um, today I'm going to be back on Jillian Michaels Shred It With Weights with the kettlebell. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I will give you guys an update tomorrow. So today is Thursday, September 1st. I am down from 328, 1.2 pounds. Today's weigh-in was 326 pounds and 8 ounces. And um, I'm just really happy. So I'm going to finish my breakfast. I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to pop in the tape. And I'm going to work out. So thank you guys so much for all your support. And if you have any questions for me, you want to share any tips or, you know, just whatever, um, just send me an email, shoot me a YouTube message, or just comment on the videos. Thanks so much. Bye.